to have a play date, so we're on our way. It rained earlier, so it's nice and crisp and beautiful outside. And this is probably one of the best kept secrets in Glendale. We bought zucchini bread to take with us because it's delicious and it goes so well with this cold, gloomy weather and with the holidays here. It's just a perfect treat to have. So we'll check back in later. What? Oh yeah. You want to clean up? Okay. I need some coffee. Okay, this candy is the best candy in the entire world. It is dried fruit from Iran, and they sell it on Amazon as well. It tastes so, so good. It is tangy, it is a little sweet. It's just the best thing in the entire world. Hi. <laughs> Camera shy. <laughs> Thanksgiving themed necklace in his class and I love it. It's so so cute. All right, so I am making chicken nuggets But very healthy, but a lot healthier So what I'm doing is I have chicken breast over here That I washed and I took the fat out and I'm basically just like making them small like this like sort of like, you know sort of like the same size as your traditional chicken nuggets and I'm a big believer in like utilizing what I have so I don't create extra work for myself. So check this out. I have the chicken in this bowl and the first step is to, is to dip the chicken in flour. So I basically just took the flour and I added it to this bowl instead of putting it in a new bowl. And what I'm doing after that is, after it is coated with, so after it's coated with the flour, I go ahead and I place it into the, I go ahead and I submerge it into this egg batter that I have. And then the last step is, is coating it with, <laughs> baby's really excited right now. So the last step is coating it with the breadcrumbs that I have and the breadcrumb station is just the lid of this Pyrex right here. So I think I did a pretty cool job in saving myself some time with cleanup. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and coat all of the chicken with, with the breading. And then once I'm done, I will check back in to throw it into the pan and let it get nice and crisp. <laughs> right now and then I have my smoothie that I made as well so I am double fisting this goodness right here smoothie is supposed to be my breakfast for today so we'll see how how that goes this whole so we'll see how that goes 
I am in my pajamas. I'm in my pajamas and I have very, and it's very poor, and it's very poorly lit right now. It's raining, so I don't have natural lighting, and then the kitchen light, and then I have a overhead light right now, which isn't doing much justice, but yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It is a rainy day in LA today, and I am just having my coffee, and then I have my breakfast smoothie over here. And I am going to film a video while I can. The baby is napping, so I figured now is a good time to shoot. I want to apologize for the poor lighting. There's just not much natural lighting going on with the rain, and then the, and the lighting in the house just isn't strong enough. So sorry about that. But um, yeah, I. But yeah. I'm so sorry about that, but this so this video is going to be my top five holiday movies. Mm -hmm. Takes a sip and thinks about the five movies. No, I actually know the five movies that I'm going to talk about. Um, I watch, I watch these five movies every single year on repeat and they don't disappoint you know holiday movies are holiday movies you know they're gonna be a little bit cheesy they're gonna be a little you know um they're gonna be a little cliche but that's that's the way it is but that's what's to be expected you want that warm cozy feeling you want everything to work out in the end and be very and just to have a very light-hearted feel and um and easy to follow storylines that the whole family can watch because that's pretty much the holidays for you. You know, you're gonna be in a room full of people of all ages, so you don't want there to be some really dirty scene going on and then your parent just walks in. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter how old you are, like if there is a sex scene in a movie and your parent walks in, it's awkward. It's awkward, it doesn't matter. Like it felt the same way now as it did when I was like, I don't know, like a t like 11, a tween, and my parents walked in and there was like even a makeout scene and I'd be um, and I and I would just want to like crawl in a hole. Like I just didn't want to, I didn't want to be in the room anymore. <laughs> so I feel the same way now as an adult. Just go, we, gotta, we gotta keep things very PG around here. Let's start. And this list is not in any particular order. It doesn't mean that it's from like the best to the worst. It's just what's coming to mind. The first movie is The Grinch. And I personally, and I personally like the cartoon version the best. I think that it's just, The Grinch looks less creepy for some reason because it's in a cartoon form. So it's like more cutesy. I'm gonna try not to give too much away in these movies even though these are not like, these are not new movies and you've, everyone's probably seen them or at least like most of these. Um, but I'll just try to talk around the storylines. But yeah, I mean, The Grinch is The Grinch. I mean, it's 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 one of those, um, it's, become a, it's become a metaphor when people don't like Christmas. It's like, oh, you're The Grinch. Um, so he doesn't like Christmas but there's a reason as to why he doesn't like Christmas and then things start to happen and change and it just goes to show that even if you're in a sucky mood or with a bad history, if you just encounter good, warm-hearted people, it can still change you, it can uplift you and your mindset can change. Second movie that I wanna talk about is Love Actually. Love Actually, it's just such a cute, like, warms your heart kind of movie. It is, I guess, more adult-based because the characters are adults. So it's about eight couples and they all have their individual, you know, love struggles. They're going through stuff, you know, in their love lives. But those eight couples are somewhat in intertwined together. It's, and then even if you haven't seen it, I'm sure by now you've seen the meme like all over. It's been going around for years where um, the guy's holding the po what a guy's holding the poster and it says "Actually, I love you." That's the movie it's from. So it's a very cute movie. If you want to watch it, especially with your uh, with your boo, it's a really cute one. So 
So add that to your list. And then the next movie is The Santa Claus, and that is with Tim Allen. This is an old movie, and it's like more comedic. Chris Allen is Santa Claus. So what happens is he accidentally kills Santa Claus or the man wearing the Santa suit and then he is like transported to the North Pole and then from there on out he's supposed to fulfill the role as Santa and then he even like gains the weight and everything like that it's very cute it's very funny but I guess if you have people in the house kids that still believe in Santa you may not want to see this anymore it might be a little bit devastating to see that or find out that Santa's just a man wearing a suit but it is a really funny lighthearted movie so and it's a classic it's a Disney movie um, the next one is I had a list I had a mental list and now I'm like trying to go down the list um, I said love actually oh the holiday the holiday is a really good one Kate Winslet is down in the dumps no luck with relationships she's just over it and really depressed and then she like basically like finds an airbnb and she, she lives in she lives in england like in like a you know in the village in england and so she wants to get out for the holidays and so she finds an airbnb in california um and that, air, and that house in California belongs to Cameron Diaz's character. And then Cameron Diaz, of course, is going through her own struggles with love. And so what happens is they switch homes. Cameron Diaz goes to England and then Kate Winslet's character comes over to California and they're just, you know, living out the holidays and on opposite sides of the world. Of course, Kate Winslet finds love with the local Californian and then Cameron Diaz's character of course meets a lucky lad in England and, um, and things happen so it's a very very cute movie I remember seeing it in the movie theaters and I still watch it every year after that and then um, I said Grinch the holiday love actually so I said the Grinch I said love actually I said Santa Claus, the holiday, and then there's a fifth one. When is the fifth one? Oh, how could I forget? Home Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone. It is. It's a classic. I'm sure every single person has seen this movie by now. It is so cute, cute adorable, a fun for all ages movie. So, yeah, I don't think I even need to say more. It's just so funny the one-liners in the movie are still said to this day it's just very very fun and interesting to watch and there's a lot of celebrity cameos in there as well um that if you watch now you'll be like oh that's that so and so that's so and so um yeah macaulay culkin just kills it even as like a child actor he just like owns that character <laughs> and it's just a really great and fun watch so hope you guys write down these movies and get to watching thank you so much and thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for just tuning in i'm gonna go finish the rest of my coffee i'm gonna go answer some emails clean up a bit until the baby wakes up thank you so much for watching again it truly means a lot hope you can subscribe and like this video